Ooh, a 502. We're we're back to getting good matchups. Don't squander this. I'm still I still haven't recovered from last week when I when I lost to Trey whatever his name was because I forgot to click and he was down to like 100 points and I was at full health. Um Suns in the south. This is very pretty. The fact that the sun's in the south is kind of confusing me. I thought for sure this would be like Africa when I first saw it, but I guess this could be like Poland. It's just nothing. Koto Privado de Casa. What the hell is happening? Gamonso. Okay, hold on. Are we in like... Spain? Now I'm looking at the equator. <laughs> I don't think we're anywhere... Uh, maybe we could be in Mexico, I guess? But this looks more like Spain than Mexico to me. But I also am not 100% sure that... The language we saw was Spanish. I don't know what else it could have been. Other than maybe Portuguese, I guess. This is how I imagine a lot of Spain looks. I saw a, a YouTube video the other day talking about Spain's population distribution. That like 70% of the country... 90% of the country lives in 30% of the land. So like 70% of the country has like almost no one in it. I did not realize how, like, there were just these huge areas that were almost completely empty. I'm gonna guess Spain. I don't know. Why does Romania not have Cyrillic? Weren't they part of the Soviet bloc? Um, I don't know. That That's a good question. I don't really know the history. But it was Spain. I was on the wrong side of Madrid, though. Um, I would guess it's just because... They must have been, like, independent for a longer period of time during the Middle Ages. Because I think that's when Cyrillic was like a widely adopted in Slavic countries. Um, I know Romanian is a Romance language. It's kind of weird. To, I, like, I don't know how it got all the way over there when all the other ones are in the West. But um, I can't read that. But yeah, it, it must be like I, I don't know who controlled Romania like in the 18th and 19th centuries. But I guess by the time they fell under the Soviets. They already had uh, their own writing system. I don't know. This is... That looked like French. This And there's white road signs. That is definitely French. So I think we are in France itself. Not in Belgium or Switzerland. So I would love to see a city name. Maybe you will have something for me. Uh, okay, or we could be in Belgium. Except I think... I'm, I, I'm going to... Am I brave enough? No, there's a Belgian flag. Okay. I was going to say, I was going to defy the .be and put us in northeast France. How did we both guess the same small Belgian city? Very strange. I thought this was the U.S. for a second, but that's not a, an American road line. Could be Canada, maybe? Maybe. I don't think this is Canada. Yeah, this is not Canada. Why can't I read anything your signs say? Twin Gums Reserve, City of Blacktown. 
that seems like an Australian thing to me. I don't know why. Dollars. So yeah, I think this probably is Australia. Yeah, Australian mobile numbers. Okay. I, I'm not going to pretend I have any idea where the city of Blacktown is, but I do see the city of Wagga Wagga, and that makes me laugh. I was going to put us there, but I think that might be a little too far out. Let's let's go. I don't want to put us in a national park. Honestly, let's go to Wagga Wagga. Wollongong? Australia is not a real place. Oof. Where? It was closer to Sydney. It, it was like a s uh, suburb of Sydney. Park Del Rio. Okay. I'm going to go out on a limb and guess we're near Rio. I suppose, um, I suppose Rio, I think, is just, like, Spanish and Portuguese for river, so we actually could be, like, anywhere in a Spanish-speaking country near a river. This doesn't look like Rio de Janeiro. It's Santiago, Chile, fuck. <laughs> uh. Somehow we were, no, no, he was closer, okay. That looks like Kamir again. Wait, man, if this is, no. That's... This is obviously Mandarin, but what the hell is this? I feel like T Bangkok would be more likely to have Mandarin than Phnom Penh. I don't, I don't know that for a fact. Let's compare the text. I think this is Thai, but last time I said that it was Khmer, but I'm, I'm going to go with Thai. It was Thai, but it was... Actually, it was Lao. What? All right, we've got a, we've got a game. All right, these road signs or road lines, I always get that backwards. Makes me think like Northern Europe. Yellow license plate makes me think... Netherlands, but we saw earlier, apparently Denmark also sometimes has yellow license plates, and I usually associate these with Scandinavian countries, so I'm actually just gonna do something crazy and send Denmark. That looks like Danish to me, or, or Norwegian. But I don't think Norway has yellow license plates. It was just the Netherlands. I I learned a rule so well, and then I saw one one exception and threw away the book. All right, now I think this is Norway. We've got a red building and the same Scandinavian-looking lines. But I, I'm going to learn from my mistake. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I know I put myself in Sweden, but that's just to kind of cover my bases in case we're in Denmark or like Eastern Sweden. I think I think we're in Norway, like over here somewhere. Snow. All right, I was closer and we were in Norway. looks like Southeast Asia again. Lots of mountains. I don't really know where the mountains are in Southeast Asia, which is unfortunate. I use that to my advantage a lot in South America. Hollow ball. Oh, I thought it says hollow blocks. I thought it said hollow bollocks. And I was like, what the hell were we looking at? And this is clearly either Indonesia or Malaysia. I'm just, I'm really scared because I keep getting it wrong. There's a lot of English. Like they, I mean, they both use English, but this is a lot of English. 
Alright, this is more like it. I don't know how to tell them apart. Mabuhaye. Inshallah. I feel like this is going to be the end, maybe? If, if one of us is far away. Or maybe we'll both be far away. The Philippines. But he didn't guess! Yes! I think that's it. No, he saw his 500. That's insane, to not guess on round 8 and still live. This is giving me, like, Switzerland-Austria vibes, maybe? Sun is in the south. What is your... It doesn't tell us anything. Why are we moving so slow? Please. That I just I'm just now remembering that I commented on it was weird that there was so much English in the last guess. It was because it was in the Philippines. That makes sense. I, I talked about this last time. Philippines is my English kryptonite. I never think of the Philippines when English shows up for some reason. I mean this is a nightmare. I'm not going to learn any information. I don't really see any actual mountains, I just see a lot of hills. And if and if he beats me after not guessing on round 8 on two and a half times damage, I'm going to actually lose it. Please. Just just show me a language. That's all I need. To, to narrow it down to a region. Is this German? French? Slavic? Spanish? It's the same car. What the hell? How is there not a single road sign? There's a cow on the side of the road. I think we're in South America. That would have been really bad if I had just guessed Austria a couple seconds ago. Now I think maybe we're in, like, Bolivia or Brazil or Colombia. Just because we're in, like, the middle of nowhere. But this is a European city sign. But it sounds Spanish. I'm so confused. This is horrific. I wonder if there's an actual time limit. Like, if neither of us guess for... 10 minutes? What happens? We Hunger Games it? Oh, Jesus. Wait, the sun was in the north, right? No, it's in the, it's in the south, so we're, I think we're in Europe. He beat me, but I think I maybe have enough. Okay. Romania. That explains why the language looked so weird. There's our Romanian guess. Alright, this is this is Europe for sure, and I think this might be like Scandinavia. I guess this could be Canada. What is happening here? Now I'm starting to think it might be Canada. Uh, 
I hate this. I need an auto clicker. I'm giving myself carpal tunnel. I'm gonna switch hands, which might slow down my reaction speed. Please. Can I use my keyboard? I can. But you move, like, way less. Oh, but I can just hold down up. Okay. This is... This is so much worse. <laughs> Wait, was that a sign? No. I don't know why I thought I saw a sign. Alright, I'm clicking again. No. You piece of shit. I knew it was Scandinavia, but I was so afraid of being wrong. I'm so upset. I cannot believe we lost that game. Geoguesser, fix your fucking algorithm. Why do you lose three times as many points for like long, close matches? Maybe because I blew a lead? I wouldn't have blown a lead if you didn't make it, like, quadruple points. I feel like- I feel like you should gain and lose small amounts of elo for very long, close matches, and then, like, gain lots of elo for blowouts. But it seems to be the opposite, and I'm sure they know what they're doing more than I do. Finish him. Okay, now finish him. I meant to send those messages in his stream. Sorry for the mix-up. You piece of shit. And now I don't know where we are because I was too busy looking at chat. This is how it begins. Um, that's not what I was expecting. This man guessed Beijing. Alright, I know we're down, but I'm gonna tell you right now, we're not losing. This man guessed Beijing. I just, I just wasn't paying attention because I was too busy reading chat. Lok Tien Fat. Isn't that Vietnamese? It's been so long. This is Vietnamese. I haven't been in Vietnam and GeoGuessr in like weeks. Maybe even longer. Um, I think I've read that it's usually Ho Chi Minh City. It was. Yes. Yes. I will say I'm... Um, Considering this man just guessed Beijing, I'm surprised he guessed a Vietnamese city, but perhaps I wasn't giving him enough credit. Um, very mountainous, thinking Switzerland or Andorra or Austria. Please, what does your road sign say? Oh my god. This fucking bus. It's white, which I believe is usually Swiss. Raw. Denim from recycled ocean plastic. Andorra La Vea. We are in Andorra. I'm going to tell you right now, there's no way old Beijing man has any idea where Andorra is on the map. I'm being really mean, but I've just I've never seen anyone in GeoGuessr Duels guess Beijing. It, it literally doesn't show up in the game. I was less than 650 yards away. I can't wait to get two elo points for this. Honestly, two, I think two elo points would put me back in gold, though. So, I mean, if that's all I get, that's all I get. This is Central Europe, a.k.a. where we've been all night. I think I saw a yellow license plate. Is this... Uh, wait. Are we in the UK? You'd be 676 at that point, yes. That would be fine with me. 
I wanted to finish him off this round, but it's not going to happen. So now we have to go through the healing round. This is what happened last time, except I think this guy's a lot worse than our last one. This looks like Senegal or Tunisia. Maybe South Africa. It's Senegal. I'll go right there. Every time I guess out here, it's like in the middle of Dakar. And every time I guess Dakar, it's somewhere out here. Ghana's is not a bad guess if you don't know where you are. That's actually, that's like the furthest. We're on the border of Mali or Mauritania. I think it was Mauritania. Um, we're back in Senegal. I'm still not going too far east, even though we were just like super far east. Oof. Seven points. I'll put this back. All right. I think I, I was gonna say we're gonna do one more, but that that would be dumb even for me. We're we're gonna end in gold. I think we capped out at six ninety eight or something like that. We never quite cracked seven hundred. But that's okay. At least we, we climbed like 60 points from where we left off last week. So this was overall a massive improvement. Um, there were there were two L's today that, that stand out to me. One is when the guy knew we were in American Samoa in nine seconds and got a mile away. That one, that one, I mean, I'm not like even mad, like I'm impressed, but I'm, I'm, I'm also just like flabbergasted. And then the, the one we just had, where I blew a 6,000 point lead almost. And had two of the, like maybe the two longest rounds I've ever done in GeoGuessr back to back, where we were just scrolling through miles of nothing. But still, overall, it's hard to be upset when we, when we finish in gold. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. 